Hello everybody, this is Kareem from Team Extra and I'm here from, just got back from Locals actually, and coming back from second place with Marinces. Um, I got 3-1, it was pretty hard due to the Cash Tierra matchup, that was my only loss. But I've been seeing, like, at our Locals we've been seeing a lot of trap decks lately, and it's very annoying. But I believe Marinces has climbed back up to being one of the meta decks. So, then, so here's my deck list. Uh, for the main board, um, the main monsters from Rinses is kind of standard. We have uh, three blue, blue Tang, three Spring Girl. I play, I used to play three, I mean two Pascals, but now I play three because it's a level four and it's really good now. And then I play three Spring Girl, I mean three Seahorse. Uh, the MVP of today was honestly the one of Rinses Basil. Most of the time, they try to uh, pop your normal summer, pop one of your monsters on the field with Raigeki, or just something like Torrential Tribute, and this just protected my monsters, which I really loved for the Mernces lineup. Uh, for non Mernces monsters, I ran the um, the Abyss Shark package with two Abyss Shark, one uh, Mina Kura, which is just a better um, Silent Angler. You, you're not, it doesn't lock you out of your hand, and then one Silent Sea Nettle. I haven't really seen this card all day but it was a really good card especially when it hits the grave because um it's really good recursion for your link monsters uh for uh major hand traps i ran uh three valor three ash and three nibiru here um yeah, so pretty much this was like all I needed because of this started cast here and these two just hit everything. I see most of them. I didn't sadly I didn't see a lot of nib, but it was like it really just worked out. I don't think I wouldn't change any of these ratios for the hand traps. Uh, for spell cards, um, just the standard uh one battle ocean, uh two die for the Mernces spells. Uh, for sun at minings, I actually um brought it down to two. Because I if I if I see one signing money, I always see uh, the second one and it's kind of annoying. I could wish I could have seen like a hand trap or another uh, Mercedes card. But seeing it at two today, I seen it when I really needed it and it wasn't uh, like stuck in my hand. Uh, for non stuff, I played one Harpy Feather Duster, one Call by the Grave, and uh, three Book of the Clips. But Clips is amazing, Marinces, because it really doesn't affect you as much because all your monsters are Link monsters. And it really stops Cash Tira um, going second. It's just really good, especially I hit hit a bunch of people with it. Like, if they had, like, um, negates on the field, like, monster negates on the field, I would just book their monsters uh, for the turn. And I will just destroy it with Zelantis or, like, beat over with Aqua Argonaut. Uh, for Traps, it's just three Imperms and a... Mertes Wave. Um, now going into the uh, extra deck, it should be the most standard Mertes list. Is two, two Blue Slug, two Sea Angel, two Coral Enemy. If you like, I really don't like how people play one Sea Angel, especially in this format with Cash Tira, because Cash Tira will just pop your um, banish your only um, Sea Angel, and then you just can't search anything. Now you just have to draw the out for it. Um, I'm also playing the, um, one of Crystal Heart, just so I can make my Monster Unaffected, just again, Fenrir, is a pain to just try to go onto Aqua Argonaut, they just go battle, pop it, and then just attack you directly for it, and I really don't like that. Uh, for Link 3s, I run the, uh, Triangle and Marble Rock standard things, I really love the Reoccursion for, um, Triangle and the Graveyard, if... Somehow your Aqua Argonaut does get cleared or your Link 4 Bubble Reef gets cleared. You always have this in the graveyard to um, reoccur back and I just amazing card. Uh, for Link 4s, we run uh, the Bubble Reef. I never make this anymore, but it's just there for the recursion in the Banish Pile, which I really don't really see it. Honestly, Aqua Argonaut is amazing. The Spell and Trap Nigga and then... Another MVP today, um, I won one of my catch tier matches from one of the earlier um, locals by just making this, popping their um, two continuous spells on the field in the battle phase. So, really good card. I, I'm i tempting to play a second one of this instead of Crystal Heart so I, it doesn't get removed from, like, Unicorn. 
Um, for I run the XYZ package. I run a Toad, a Bahamut Shark, and then a Kraken to finish up the extra deck. I think this is a really good matchup, um, really good lineup. I wouldn't change it at all. Um, it's just, it just helps Mernsis put up a decent board. Uh, finally for the side deck, um, side deck. The side deck is like really bad. I gotta fix it up. Uh, three Warner. I never cited these in today. Because I felt like just Ash, Valor, Nib was just the... Ash, Valor, Nib and the Book of the Eclipse were just like the best like things I could put in at the time. So I just didn't make these. I'll probably change these in for Rivalries. Rivalry of the Warlords. Um, for like the like for the Labyrinth matchup, um, like I said, there's a lot of like trap decks coming around. So I play one co extra Cosmic and then two Royal Decrees. I, um, Royal Decree is amazing, especially, um, going, um, second, I'll still set it in, because they might, um, on their turn, they'll just start, um, for example, Trap Trick, they'll act, try to activate, um, Holtea, you just flip this over to stop it, and it's just really good to just, um, make them, like, work a little harder for their traps. Um, three goes in because of, once again, Cash Tira. Cash Tira is a pain, and you just lock them out of their, um, other monsters since they're all different attributes. They're not all different. Uh, yeah, no, um, yeah, three, they are three, different attributes. Three earth, two water, one wind. Yeah, but they're still different attributes. Don't lock them in the earth. I know. <laughs> no, not Just lock them in the wind. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, but like, so uh, you can lock them out in fire. Don't forget that. Um, uh, next thing, also another one. Another one is three dimension barrier. I used this. It was really off, like on and off, honestly. Uh, especially against the cash tier matchup, if you just lock them out of seas, they just make a big board with their just normal monsters, and especially if they have the um, uh, the field spell, it just makes it even worse. Uh, and then side this like probably like one game evenly match, it wasn't really that well because especially because of the trap decks, they really didn't care about it. But yeah, that's literally all I have for you guys for today. If you guys like the content, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all next time.